My name is Kelly Clement, and I'm the sales manager here at Metastock. I've put together this quick start video for you as a new Metastock user to be able to get up and running with the software as quickly as possible. So when you first log into Metastock, you're presented with the tip of the day. The tip of the day is designed to give you a quick idea each day on things that you can do to make your Metastock experience a little better. So the tip of the day is a great thing to view each day. We'll go ahead and close this, move to the next step. Then I'm given the option to view the Quick Start Tutorials. The Quick Start Tutorials can be viewed from the software, or you can also go to the metastock.com website and view the most current up-to-date videos. So we'll choose later. Now when you first open up Metastock, you see the gray screen. And the question is, where do I go next? So in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick idea of how to open up a chart apply indicators, and be up and running as quickly as possible using that. So I'm going to choose open up here to open up a chart, and I'm given the open dialog box. The open dialog box lets me do a few things. One, if I were to choose the history tab, it would let me see a, a view of everything I've looked at in the past. Local data is so I can store data and save it on my hard drive. We don't really need to do that as we're using Metastock Professional and we have access to the up-to-the-date uh, information. Favorites is so you can set up watch lists. And then Quote Center means I'm connected directly to the Quote Center data feed. Now when you first open up Metastock, it's actually defaulted to tick. So what we want to do is actually change it to daily. So we'll change that to daily. So that means that every time you open up a new chart, the default time frame will be daily. And then you can change your time frame from there. If you prefer a five minute, you can set it to a five minute or whatever you prefer. Okay. So before we get into opening up charts, it's, it's best that you understand how the Metastock symbols work. So I'm going to bring a notepad over here. And since Metastock is an international product, it's designed to work on any market, what we need to do is tell it what market we're looking at first off. So if I'm looking at uh, US-based security, I would put in US semicolon and then my symbol. The semicolon tells Metastock and, that I'm looking at a stock. So I would put in US semicolon BBY, for example, for Best Buy. Okay. If I was pulling up something from Canada, I'd put in CA semicolon, Australia AU. So you just put your country code in front of it, and then it will designate what area it's pulling that symbol from. Okay, So that's how we do stocks. If I was doing a commodity, I'll do the same thing. I'd tell it what market I'm on. So I'm on the US market, and then I say at, and then my symbol. So US at CL would be oil. US at GC would be gold. If I'm pulling up a forex pair, I would say dollar sign, dollar sign, EUR, USD as an example. So dollar sign, dollar sign designates that I'm opening up a, a currency pair or a forex pair. So EUR, USD would be the euro dollar. If I'm pulling up an index, there's one of two ways that I can pull up an index. One is US semicolon, if I was bringing up the NASDAQ 100, or if I'm bringing up the Dow, it would be US ampersand DJI, uh, S&P 500, US ampersand SPX. Okay, so that's a quick idea of how our symbols work. Now, if I don't know how the symbols work, you'll see these folders up here. I can go into the folders and double click on them to get into a folder and then it will tell me the symbols as well as the name of the security. Okay. I'm going to go back to the main screen by just clicking the quote center button here and let's bring up the DAO. So I'll put in US ampersand DJI and we'll see the DAO there. I can either highlight it and click open or if I've typed in the correct symbol here I just choose open. Okay. So now that I have a chart open I can change the style of charting that I have. So for example, I can just double click on the candles here. I could choose bar, candle, candle volume, or any of the other nine styles of charting I have in Metastock. 
let's go to a uh, candle. You can choose your colors up or down. Choose how thick the candles are. We'll just choose apply and then close. And now I've set my style for my, for my bars. Okay. Now if I'd like to put on an indicator, I just come up to the top here and this is the indicator drop down list. So in here, there's different types of indicators. There's indicators that will put directly onto a chart and then indicators that will go into their own window. If I want to put on an indicator that goes into its over the chart, say for example the moving average, I'll go to the drop down, look for the moving average, and I'll grab it by clicking the left mouse button and you'll see it turns into a little hand grabbing the moving average. So I can just hold on to it, bring it over, and then drag and drop anywhere in the white area. You'll, you'll see the little squiggly line and my bars turn purple. That means that I'm going to calculate my indicator based off of this. So if I just let go, first it gives me an option to set a color. We'll leave the colors red and then I can choose a time period. So we'll say a 50 period moving average. Choose OK. And then you'll see my 50 period moving average appear on the screen. Okay. I can hover over it and that'll give me the information of what that is. Now you'll see up here moving average stayed as my default if I wanted to grab it again. So I'll just come up, grab it again, do the same thing and just drag it into the same window. This time we'll do another moving average, we'll do a 200 period this time and we'll change our color to blue. Okay, So now you can see that's how we put on indicators. Now there may be an indicator type that we want to put in its own window, such as a MACD. So we're going to go back into our indicator dropdown. We're going to find the MACD or MACD. We'll do the same thing. We'll grab it with the hand and we'll bring it up and we're going to point it either at the top bar here and you'll see that a box appears next to it. When that box appears next to it, it means that I'm going to put it in its own window. If I bring it down and point it at the bottom dates, it will do the same thing. The difference is, if I point it at the bottom, it will put the indicator below my base security, which is the Dow here, and if I point it above, it will put it above. So I'll drag, let go, it creates a new window, and I can change my parameters as before, click OK, and now I have it in its own window. Now I can move this window if I go and just hover over the top of the title bar, it'll give me this splitter window option and I can just hold down and drag down. I can also move it top to bottom if I point it into the title bar and then just move it up and let go, it'll plot in its own window. Okay, So that's a quick view of how we can plot indicators and put uh, indicators into their own window or into their own window. Now if I want this to be the default for how I look at every chart going forward. I can right click on my chart and say save as default template. We'll say yes and now if I come up to my open button here and let's say I bring up the NASDAQ 100, we'll type in US semicolon NDX, choose open. You'll see it kept the same settings that I set for the default template. Now just two other quick tips for you as a new Metastock user to get up and running. When you first get into Metastock, the first time I recommend going into Tools, Update Symbol Database. And what this does is it will go out to the Metastock servers and update the symbol file that's on your computer to make sure that you have the most up-to-date symbols available to you. I recommend that you do this update about once a month just to make sure that you have the most up-to-date symbols. Once it's done, you'll want to close the patch and then when you restart Metastock, that new symbol list will be in there. Next, go into Tools, go into Options, check on the Real-Time tab, and then uncheck the box that says Recalculate Experts Live. And as you learn more about Metastock and get into the Expert Advisor, this helps it wait until the close of the bar to give you the buy and sell signals rather than with each tick of the bar. I've, I hope that you found this 
this getting started guide useful. And happy trading.